I would like a cigarette, Larry. <laughs> Remember when everyone used to smoke? How it was more mm, festive, happier or something. Now every place is not unlike an operating room, for Christ's sake. Huh? I never smoked. Why? I don't know. I meant to. Does that count? Meant to. Meant to. Story of your life. Meant to. Jesus, you were lifted right out of a craft ebbing case history. You were always outside looking in the window while everybody was inside dancing at the party. Now I insist you smoke. Your first compromise. Here, Rob, smoke. No, thank you. Joanne, honey, come on, he doesn't. You smoke. I'll watch. Watch? Did you hear yourself? Huh? Did you hear what you just said, kiddo? Watch! I'm offering you the chance to... I don't want one. Because you're weak. I hate people who are weak. That's the best. <laughs> Better than Librium. Smoking may be the only thing that separates us from the lower forms. You want to split? Of what? <laughs> see? Every day, Joanne tests me to see if I'll go away. Twice a year, my wife here packs her things to leave, so I'll ask her to stay. Well, my mother was a very difficult woman. Who? <laughs> and my old man left her, and he regretted it until the day he died. Now me, hey, <laughs> I married this wildly conceited broad with no self-esteem. My wife still has a hard time believing she found a guy she daily fascinates. And unlike my father, I'm, I'm a very happy man. She doesn't act like this when you're not around, Bobby. I, I hope you get to meet Joanne sometime. She's, she's really a terrific lady. In fact, if you ever decide to get married, Bobby, make sure you find somebody just like Joanne. Don't ever get married, Robbie. <laughs> Never. Why should you? I don't know. For company, <laughs> just like everybody else. Who else? Anybody who's ever fallen in love and gotten married. I know both couples, and they're both divorced. <laughs> oh, Larry, you interrupted me before. See what happens when you rush me? I wanted to toast my second husband. <sighs> it's late. I'm going to the John, and when I come back, we will be leaving. The holiday is ending, okay? Well, hey, I got the check. Let, oh, damn it, he's... I know he's off to pay the check. Or... buy the place. <laughs> it is a comfort to have rich friends, but I do like to pay for things some of the time. All right, you talk me into it. <laughs> you have a good third husband, Joanne. He's a good man. Anyway, thank you for this evening. I'm... I'm glad you asked me to join you. I was feeling really... Low tonight, really depressed. I drank, but boy, you really put it away tonight, huh? <laughs> Last several nights, you and I have gone out. I have had a shameful hangover. Abominable. We're going to be doing permanent damage. Ever think of that? <laughs> I don't know what to think about the fact that you only drink with me. What? I mean, I guess that's not unflattering. No, I, I, I don't depress you, do I? We have good times and it's, you know, it's a hoot, yeah? <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> no, I don't care for a cigarette, if that is what you're trying to stare me into. I'm a product of my generation and I do not smoke. My age group is a very uptight age group. Middle age is breaking up that old gang of mine. Woo!
it is very drunk out tonight. <laughs> what are you looking at, Joanne? Is it my charisma? Well, stop looking at my charisma. <laughs> When are we going to make it? I beg your pardon? When are we going to make it? What's wrong with now? There's my place. It's free tomorrow after two. Larry goes to his gym, then right to the office. Don't talk. Don't do your folksy Harold teen with me. You're a terribly attractive man. The kind of man most women want and never seem to get. I'll take care of you. But who will I take care of? Well... Did you hear yourself? Well, Did you hear what no, you no, just wait, said, no, I kiddo? didn't mean that. Oh, I just I... heard a door open that's been stuck a long R time. Like, I haven't looked at all that. At marriages and all that. And what do you get for it? What do you get? Well, the check is paid and we... What's wrong? I've looked into all that. Into marriages and all that. And what do you get for it? What do you get? What happened? I just did someone a big favor. Come on, Larry. Let's us go home. What do you get? Bobby. Bobby. Bobby, baby. Bobby, booby. Bobby. Robert, darling. Bobby, Bobby. we've been trying to call Bobby, you. Baby. Bobby, booby. Angel, I've got Bravo. something to tell Bobby. you. Bobby, honey, Bobby, we've been, been trying, trying to reach Bobby, you baby, all day. Yeah. All the yeah. kids were asking Bobby, 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 Someone to hold you too close Someone to hurt you too deep Someone to sit in your chair To ruin your sleep That's true, but there's more than that Is that all you think there is to it? You've got so many reasons for not being with someone But Robert, you haven't got one good reason for being alone Come on, you're on to something, Bobby, you're on to something Someone to need you too much Someone to know you too well Someone to pull you up short To put you through hell You see what you look for, you know? You're not a kid anymore, Robbie I don't think you'll be a kid again, kiddo Don't be afraid that it won't be perfect, buddy The only thing to be afraid of is that it won't be Don't stop now Keep going Someone you have to let in Someone whose feelings you spare Someone who, like it or not, will want you to share a little, a lot But what does all that mean? Robert, how can you know so much about it when you haven't been there? It's much better living it than looking at it, Robert Add him up, Bobby, add him up Someone to crowd you with love Someone to force you to care Someone to make you come through Who'll always be there As frightened as you Of being alive Being alive Being alive Being alive Blow out your candles and make a wish, Robert Want something Want something Somebody hold me too close Somebody hurt me too deep Somebody sit in my chair And ruin my sleep And make me aware Of being alive Being alive Somebody need me too much Somebody know me too well 
somebody pull me up short and put me through hell and give me support for being alive. Make me alive. Make me alive. Alone, not alone. Somebody crowd me with love. Somebody force me to care. Somebody make me come through. I'll always be there, as frightened as you, to help us survive.